Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I've got an all new declutter video. So I've been doing a bit of a declutter series and I'm just filming a quick intro to it here. I'm getting ready to move out of state. So I'm trying to downsize as much as I can. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through decluttering my cheek product drawer. So in that I've got blushes, bronzers, highlights, concealers, powders, creams and liquids as well. For that one, I filmed in a bit of a different format. So let me know your thoughts, but I'm filming it just looking through my makeup drawer and you guys will go with me to kind of go through the process of which ones I think I want to declutter. And then the second half of the video, we're going to declutter my nail polish collection. And that's going to be like, we've got a lot to go through there. So if you're new here, I try to film declutter videos pretty consistently. So if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and declutter my cheek products. For my cheek products, I think it just makes more sense to go through them in the drawer like this because I'm not gonna get rid of too, too many. So going individually would kind of make for a boring video, but there are a handful that I know need to go. So let's start with concealer. This little pocket over here it has all my concealers and I've done a really good job at using up concealers this year. But one I know I'm ready to declutter is this one from The Ordinary. This is their new one. This is their high coverage concealer. I don't really like it all that much. I feel like it ends up looking really dry and the shade match is pretty bad. I have the shade 1.2N, which was way too light. So I'm gonna declutter that. Along with that, I don't love this one from the lip bar either. This is their quick conceal. Again, it's a bad shade match for me. I have one ivory, which there aren't a lot of shades in this. So the next shade down was too dark. So this was my best option, but it just ends up looking pretty dry. So I'm gonna declutter both of those concealers. All the cream products in this little pocket, I'm gonna keep. But over here, I have some more cheek products and I have two of the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs, which I do love. I'll leave my cream cheek ranking down below, but I don't think I need both of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep Bubbly, which is the pink one, and declutter this shade Pinched. It's honestly pretty similar to, I don't, I don't think it's a dupe, but it's pretty similar to Glossier Cloud Paint and Beam. And since I'm gonna keep Beam, I'll declutter this. So that's three declutters. So I kind of hinted at this in another video, but I'm gonna declutter my hourglass blush. I have the mini in the shade Mood Exposure. I just don't love this blush. I've tried to, I want to because it's so hyped up, but I never really like my look when I wear this. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. Most of my blushes though, I'm gonna keep. I just, I can't help myself. But out of these two new ones from Bite, I have Melon Mojito and Coconut Rum. These are the new Daycation liquid blushes. And I'm gonna keep Melon Mojito and declutter Coconut Rum. There's a swatch of it on my hand. It just ends up being, it's a little too nude for me, for my preference, but it's too shimmery for me to use as a contour or a bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one, but I really love the other one. I'm just doing one last look over the drawer and trying to decide if that's everything that I wanna declutter. It was just five, but again, I keep these drawers pretty well curated, so I never have to do too much decluttering at once, but I'm kind of thinking that's everything. I love pretty much everything else. But I wanna now hop over into my nail polish collection because I have a lot of decluttering to do there. Here I am in my bathrobe and this is my current nail polish storage. It's kind of a lot. I've got these three boxes full and I'm trying to get it down to where I can fit everything into this. So this is a little caboodle. I got this sent in PR from Butter London, but they do sell it. And it came with a couple nail polishes in it. Actually, the one I'm wearing right now is in here. This is the shade Peel here. Oh my gosh, no it's not. It's called Good Vibes. That's to actually take the sticker off. I'm almost wondering if this is overly ambitious to fit all the nail polish in here, because this is not a lot of room, but I'm gonna try. Here's all of it. It's not all cruelty free because a lot of these nail polishes I've had for years long before going cruelty free. I think I wanna start with the ones that just stand out to me that I know immediately I need to keep and then I'll put them in the caboodle. So starting with the color that I'm currently wearing, this is Butter London Good Vibes. This, one of my favorite nail polish colors of all time. This is from NCLA and it's called Members Only. It's this really pretty pastel blue. A favorite nude nail polish for me, this is from KL Polish. This is the shade Peanut Butter. Okay, I'm already thinking maybe they won't all fit in here because I feel like I've already filled up 
a bulk of this, but we'll keep going. I have another Butter London one that I really want to keep. This is from their Barbie collection. This is the shade Icon. Ooh, this, another one of my all-time favorite colors. This is from NCLA, and it's called Pulling Up in My Pink Caddy. It's also a Barbie-themed... Well, wait. No, it's not. It's not, but it feels like it should be. Also want to keep this nude from Persona Cosmetics. This is the shade Taupe. Also from Persona Paints, this is the shade Lilac. I want to keep that one also. Uh, probably another nude I want to throw in there. This is KL Polish Zoe. All right, I've already filled up the bottom layer. I'm thinking I can do a second layer since most of these are pretty flat, except for the Persona ones they are kind of bulky. Oh, I want to put these in also because these are really good. This is a base coat and top coat from Butter London. I guess I'll put these right over here. I also really love this color. This is from Koki and the shade is called Chill Seeker. It's really pretty. It's almost like a nude. I mean, not really, but it's this pretty pinky color. Okay, let's do a test. If I put that in, can I close this? Oh, I don't know if I can. I guess I can. It just kind of sticks out. I'm starting to think I'm not going to be able to fit all the colors I want in here, but we'll keep trying. I also want to keep a blue. So I probably don't need to keep all three of these. These are all from Koki. This is Under the Sea. This is Blue Beyond. And this is Inked. I'm kind of thinking this middle shade, Blue Beyond. This is definitely my most worn out of all of them. So I'm going to keep this one. And I haven't really started a declutter pile yet, but we'll start one now and I'll put those over here. Moved out my KL Polish ones. And I know I'm supposed to be decluttering, but I think I want to keep all of these. Even though some of them are kind of similar, but I love all of these shades for fall. So I have Medusa, Miami Fever, Ace, Princess Penny, Taurus, and Havana Nights. If anything, I would declutter Havana Nights. Absolutely keeping Medusa though. It's one of the coolest colors in my collection. It's this like amazing duochrome. And I don't have a red, so I want to keep one of these two. But I think I prefer Ace just a little bit more than Persona Sherry. This one is really good, but I feel like I don't need both. So I think I'm going to keep Ace and put Sherry in Declutter. I think I'm going to keep all these, but I'll put them over here as a maybe and we'll come back. Going by color, now I have all these little baby pinks. I don't need to keep all of them, though I want to, but I think I'm going to declutter Essence Sweet as Candy. I think I'm going to keep this NCLA one. The shade name came off the bottom, but it's Nude 4. I think I'm going to declutter this Essie. It used to be my all-time favorite, but they're not cruelty-free, and I haven't worn it in a while. The shade is Minimalistic. These three are the ones that I'm most leaning towards keeping. These two, this is NCLA Pastel Dreams and Koki I Want Candy. This Cafe Olay from Koki I love so much, but I'm now realizing... It's practically identical to this one. This is the shade Zoe from KL Polish, which is no longer a brand. So if you did want that shade, Cafe Olay is identical. So I guess I can declutter it. Ugh, I really just want to keep both of these for cute baby pinks. I think I'm going to try and see if they both fit. This is Blush from Persona and Sandy Bum from Butter. Out of this big pile, this one is calling to me to keep... I just love this collection from NCLA so much. So this is Clubhouse Cocktails. I'm tempted by this one. This is Barbie Party. It's clear with stars. It doesn't stay on that well, but it's really cool. I guess I'll move that to maybe. I also really want to keep this one from Essence. It's so much fun. It's called Indian Summer. Oh, and this green. Okay, there's no way these are all going to fit in here. I might have to find another storage option. But this is Wild Child from Koki. I love a green. And I think I need to keep Gone Rio too because it's a bright. I don't have a lot of brights that I'm keeping. But I'm thinking about decluttering the rest of them. I don't know. This is hard. I love nail polish so much. But a lot of these colors, I feel like I have something similar enough in what I'm keeping. And or a lot of them are colors I rarely wear. Except ugh, it, all these Essence ones are really calling to me because I love the Essence nail polishes so much. Let me see what I can fit in my little caboodle and we'll reevaluate. Okay, I'm back. And my vision for having a very cute little nail polish caboodle all condensed down. I don't think it's going to happen because 
I almost got every one of these in, but there were a handful that weren't going to fit. And I don't want to just declutter just for the sake of fitting them in the caboodle if I really do love these. So you know what? It kind of opens the door for me to keep a handful of others that I was planning, or not planning, but I was on the fence about. So I'm also going to keep these three from Essence. I'm keeping jeans on, take me to heaven, and you and me. And you know what? I still think this was very successful. I mean, when you look at the two, this is my keep pile, this is my declutter pile. They look pretty similar, if not uh, decluttering a few more than I'm keeping. So I feel good about that. And the place I was trying to get to for this, I want to get to a point where I open my little nail polish, whatever it's going to be, because now it's not going to be this, it's going to be something else. But I want to get to a place where I open it and I'm so excited to pick out a color and they all jump out at me as like the most amazing colors. Because before, there were just a ton of colors I didn't wear and I'd be digging through and I'm like, ugh, I don't know, I'm not inspired. But looking at this pile, I'm so inspired. I want to go paint my nails. So I'll have my full declutter playlist linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.